Hello guys. So the World Cup cricket 2023 fever is on, and all of us are rooting for Team India to win this time. It's been 12 long years since we won the last World Cup in 2011, and we all watched it under the leadership of people like Dhoni, Sachin, Yuvraj, Kohli, and so on. Where we last picked up the trophy, and since then there are a lot of gaming apps also where you can choose your own Dream 11 team, playing 11, and then win exciting prizes. So let us combine a little bit of mathematics and a lot of cricket, and then the objective of today's video is to help team india choose the winning team of 11 players out of the squad of 15 players so the squad of 15 players was announced recently on 28th of september which contains seven batsmen including captain was rohit sharma well we have two wicket keepers ishan kishan and kl rahul to choose from we have all rounders as the likes of hardik pandya who is the vice captain and sir jadeja and we have none other than virat kohli so let's get to the problem directly in this video i'm going to ask three problems one is going to be purely simple but mathematically in nature the second is going to be more realistic we are you guys also help team india choose the playing 11 which can win the world cup and the third problem is going to be more mathematical in nature who are more interested in mathematics of it all right so let's get to the problem the first problem is in how many ways we can choose 11 players for playing 11 out of the squad of 15 players the concept that is being used is from the chapter permutations and combinations which you study in 11th standard in india and if you are preparing for combinatorics olympiads then maybe even in the 9th or 10th grade and the simple answer is the expression is 15c11 which uh, translates to choose 11 player out of 15 and the mathematical expression for this is 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 Well, if you calculate it, it turns out to be 1365, which is lots of combinations to choose from, right? But the good news is, well, it's purely this problem is purely mathematical in nature. It doesn't have anything to do with reality because in the realistic scenario, there are certain players which will always play, like captain will always play, vice captain will always almost play, unless there is some injury. Also, you must play with a wicket keeper. Also, if Kohli is there. Kohli will play, right? He is a star cricketer, and all of you love to watch Kohli. This is a large number of combinations. Let us see a realistic problem. All right. So the next problem is we want to make a realistic team, and the following are the constraints. And how many ways can we choose 11 players out of the squad of 15 with the following constraint? The first constraint is the captain and the vice captain always play. Well, it's obvious that you will want to play with both of these players. Exactly one wicket keeper plays. Now we have simplified the problem. Realistically, strategy depends from captain. Captain to captain and from selectors to selectors, but this is one strategy which is fairly decent and which I have chosen and which I feel is optimum. So exactly one wicket keeper plays out of two wicket keepers that we have. Exactly three bowlers are chosen out of the four bowlers that we have, and exactly three all rounders are chosen out of which well vice captain is also there, right? Now you can imagine why these constraints because. You want to, uh, you know, deliver a spell of 50 overs, so you need at least five bowlers plus all rounders. And having just five is also not good because you may want a change of pace, change of bowling variations, and all. So just having five bowlers plus all rounders is also not a good idea. Plus, batting has always been the strength of Team India. So mostly our captain is a batsman. Uh, even the wicket keepers are always batsmen, and all rounders. Some of the all rounders are also really good batsmen, like of Sir Jadeja who has helped us with a lot of. So let us see in how many ways can we do this problem. First of all, you can guess how many combinations will we have within these four constraints. It will definitely be less than 1365. Let us see how many. The constraints are Rohit Sharma and Hardik Pandya always plays. All right, so two are selected, nine more to go. The next constraint was that you have to choose exactly one wicket keeper out of these two. And let me keep writing those numbers. If you have to choose exactly one wicket keeper out of two, you can do it in two C one number of ways. All right. Next, you have to choose exactly three bowlers out of these four. And out of these four bowlers, exactly three bowlers can be chosen in four C three number of ways. So, how many people have we chosen so far? Well, one captain. Let me write it as one C one. One vice captain. Let me write it as one C. So, if I add all the lower indices, I have the number of players. So, one plus one two plus one three plus three six. So far, we have chosen six players out of eleven. Now, they have said they have asked us to choose exactly three all rounders. Now, we have already chosen one one all rounder, and out of this remaining three all rounders, we can only pick two. That can be done in three C two number of ways. And how many other cricketers remain? Well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other three cricketers remain. And how many other people remain? They are all batsmen. So these are four batsmen out of which you have to choose three. So which can be done in four C three ways. 
And if you count these numbers, 1c1 is 1, 2c1 is 2, so the number turns out to be 2 into 4 into 3 into 4, which turns out to be 96. Right? It is less than 100, it's much much less than 1365. But still within these constraints, you have a large number of combinations with which you can play. All right. Now, individually, what you can do is you can try to pick three of your four favorite batsmen. You can pick three of your four favorite bowlers and two of your three favorite all-rounders. And please write your dream team in the comments below and let us see how many times that dream team is chosen. Also, if you want to add one more realistic constraint to it, right? That Sir Kohli always plays. Then we can just change these batsmen to out of these three batsmen, you have to pick two. So if I change it to 3c2, that number will turn out to be 2 into 4 into 3 into 3, which will be significantly smaller, which is 72. All right, because you want Kohli to play. So please write your dream team in the comment section. Let me summarize each of these again. What was 1c1? It was for captain. This was for vice captain. This was for choosing one wicket keeper. You can choose three ballers out of these four. You can choose two all-rounders out of the remaining three and this is for choosing the remaining pure batsmen who are like neither captains nor wicket keepers. So you can choose three batsmen. And the yellow case is when Sir Kohli is always chosen. Okay, out of the three batsmen, Kohli is definitely chosen. Alright, so I hope you had fun making your own dream team and Let's do one mathematically challenging problem. Those of you who are interested in mathematics can try it. Else can have fun while playing the cricket. And go team India, let's win the World Cup 20. Alright, so the mathematically challenging problem is in how many ways can we choose 11 players out of these 15 with the following constraint? Well, the obvious choice is captain and vice captain always play. Rather than exactly, I'm writing at least one wicket keeper plays out of the two. At least three ballers are chosen out of the four. At the same time, at least three all rounders are also chosen, but number of ballers plus all rounders is less than or equal to seven. It cannot be more than seven. Well, that makes things slightly more complicated. So let us. Please try the problem on your own first and then look at the solution next. So let me summarize it for you. So let us make categories, right? And those categories are, suppose I talk about captain, then there is only one. And then if I talk about, well, what are the different categories? There is captain, there is vice captain. Then let me write the wicket keepers. Then let me write the ballers. Let me write the all-rounders and let me write the batsmen. Now ballers, all-rounders and batsmen, I'm assuming pure batsmen, which are neither captain nor wicket keepers. Similarly, all-rounders which are not vice captain. So each of them in numbers are one captain, one vice captain, two wicket keepers, four bowlers. Other than the vice captain, we have three all-rounders. And other than the captain and the wicket keepers, we have four pets. And let me take all of these and let us see what can we choose in how many ways can we choose each of these. So the constraints were captain and vice captain are already chosen, always chosen without fail. So what we want to do is we want to make different cases. Let us see how many cases will be. So let us iterate uh, systematically and let us handle each condition one by one. So the first condition was based upon the wicket keeper. So see captain and vice captain are always chosen. So we can always write one and one for captain and vice captain. Out of these two wicket keepers, you have to pick at least one. So let us make all the cases in which we choose one wicket keeper. Now what was the next constraint? The next constraint was at least three bowlers are chosen. So let me start with choosing the minimum number of bowlers, which is three. And at least three all-rounders are chosen, out of which Hardik Pandey is already chosen. So out of the remaining three all-rounders, let me choose two more all-rounders. So what I have done is I have taken minimum of all of this. And if you take minimum of all of these, you have one plus two plus three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. So automatically out of the remaining four batsmen, you have to choose three batsmen. That is case one. Similarly, let us make all such cases. And on the right hand side, we are going to count the number of ways of selecting. In case two, captain and vice captain are always, always chosen. Let us keep wicket keepers at two, ballers at three. Let me increase the number of all rounders to three. Can I do that? We have, you know, vice captain who is all rounder plus ballers plus all rounder as seven. Can we choose seven all rounders? Yes, we cannot choose more than seven, but we can choose seven. And then uh, obviously remaining, if I increase one, one of the all rounders, I will have to reduce one of the bets. That is my second case. What other cases can be made if in case three, let me choose one keeper, uh, sorry, one captain, one vice captain, one wicket keeper. Now, I think with three ballers, can we make any other combination? 
either we can have three all rounders if i increase the number of all rounders to let's say so we have three plus one if i increase the number of ballers to four next let me increase the number of ballers to four then let me start with again number of all rounders to be two so total number of bowlers plus all rounders is one vice captain plus who is all rounder plus four bowlers plus two so seven so yeah this case is already also valid and here again we will have two number of votes let's keep going similarly if we talk about case four now with one wicket keeper we have only these many cases so next what we'll have to do is we'll have to increase the number of wicket keepers so let's say we take both keepers right so in case four what you can do is you have captain vice captain let's make it two wicket keepers and then minimum number of ballers is three if you choose two all-rounders then you will have to choose only two batsmen well wicket keeper is also technically a batsman so number of batsmen are considered in this case in this case similarly if i talk about case five and in case five what we are doing is we are choosing keeper or sorry captain vice captain two wicket keepers if we choose three ballers and three all-rounders remaining you have to choose only one batsman out of four and finally one more case will be there in which you pick case six one captain vice captain two wicket keepers let us increase the number of bowlers to four then you will have you can only have two all-rounders because the vice captain pandya is already all-rounder so he has seven all-rounders you cannot have more than seven and in this case how many batsmen have you chosen one plus one two plus two four plus four eight plus two ten so only one batsman can be chosen now we have made all the cases so you can simply count the number of ways of choosing these right so for these two number of ways of choosing one out of one is always one so let us not even count them you can choose two wicket keeper out of one and two c one ways into four c three ways into three c two into four c three and here we are going to use addition rule so we are going to add all of these cases for the next one the number of cases is 2c1 into 4c3 into 3c3 into 4c2 here the answer will be 2c1 into 4c4 into 3c2 into 4c2 well number of ways of choosing two wicket keeper out of two is always one so let us not write that again and in these cases you only are picking bowlers all rounders and batsmen so you can do that in 4c3 into 3c2 into 4c2 ways then you can do it in 4c3 into 3c3 into 4c1 ways and finally you can pick four bowler out of four in 4c4 ways this in 3c2 ways and this in 4c1 ways all right now if you add all of this what do you get is so this whole number is 2 into 4 into 3 into 4. Well, 4 for the 16 and 16 6 and 96. Plus this turns out to be 3 c 3 is 1, 4 c 2 is 6. 6 into 4 is 24. 24 into 2 is 48. Plus well, 4 c 4 is 1 and 3 into 2 is 6. 6 into 6 is 36. Plus 4 c 3 is 4 into 3 into 6. 12 into 6 is 72. All right. 18 for the 72 plus what we have is 4 into 4 that is 16 only and finally what we have is 3 into 4 that is 12 and if you add all of these 8 plus 6 14 plus 6 20 22 and 8 30 3 9 3 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 19 plus 9 is how much 20 So total number of combination answer to this challenging problem is 28. Please write in the comments how many of you were able to get the correct answer with all the six cases. I hope you had fun learning maths as well as playing cricket. So well, keep studying, keep watching cricket, but only for a limited amount of time. And all the best, Team India. Until next time.